what we will eat. Not on one faithful day, I came back home. When I came back home with my pure water basin, for me to go in and freshen up, then find something for my children to eat, only to hear a voice, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. I was like, what are they taking easy? Let me go inside and check what is taking easy in my room. Oh, my honorary judge, what I saw, oh, I cannot bear it. I saw my husband on women body on my matrimonial bed. I said, what an insult. My husband has defied my home, defied my bed, defied all that we had together. He defied it. I said, oh my God, what have they done to you? What have they done to you that make you so, ah, my, my honorary justice. I cannot bear what I saw. So when I was like, ah, I went to the ladies. I was like, fighting them. What are you doing in my room? What are you doing in my room? The next thing, he still commanded them to come and fight me. So they came, fought me in my own matrimonial room or my own matrimonial bed, sharing what I and my husband have together. So when they beat me finish, I just picked my things, my basin. I was like regretting why I came back home to come and see such a mess. I, within me, I say, ah, this man is a mess. He's really a public mess. Be really a public disgrace to my own matrimonial home. He gave me no choice. Ah, my honorable, I have no choice than to call home. I call all these people to let this complain to them that what I'm seeing is unbearable. I cannot bear it any longer. They were like telling me that I should hold on, I should cool down, that the matter was, I said, this one is not a matter of cool down. I wish you people would be here to see what I'm passing through. It's not until when I die, that's when you people will know that I am in pain. My honorable justice, I am living with a man, but I'm living like a widow in the house. I'm living in pain. I'm emotionally stressed. I'm emotionally downcast. I am so confused of all about life. And sometimes it will just come that I should take something and hang myself. Then the world will tell me, if you hang yourself, what happened to your kids that you have not trained? I will adjust myself. So when I adjust myself, they call and I say, okay, thought they came, came, that I should call my mother, my mother at Ajegule, which I called her. When I told my mom, my mom said, what are you still doing there? When I'm alive, why don't you come with your children? Is it when you die that you come over there? I told mommy, let me still bear it. Let me still bear it because of my kids. Eh? My mom said, this one is nothing like bearing. Come over. We are waiting for you. I bear it. Then the one that pissed me off again, thought, thinking that this man will change, he did not change. He still repeated the attitude that he repeated. The one that I caught him when I came back from my water side, he still repeated it. This